Um, okay. Let's try it again. Here goes. This is the Eric Everyday Podcast for Thursday, January 12th, 2017. Episode 216. I always took things apart. fine i'm doing well uh i uh you know so <laughs> when i was a kid uh i used to take everything apart especially with this friend of mine this old friend of mine kale he and i would find any electronic gizmo we could find a radio a remote control anything as long as it had electronic whatnot magic in there because at the time that's all it was to me Little, little bits of electronic magic that I didn't understand. We'd crack it open, and we'd pull the pieces apart and start attaching wires in random places, put on a speaker here and see if that did something, attach a 9-volt battery, maybe an LED. We'd even go to Radio Shack and buy like a little pack of LEDs, which are those little lights, and uh, put, put them, just start attaching them. He had a soldering iron, so we would start soldering things just to things randomly and see what happens. It was a lot of fun. Occasionally, a buzz noise would happen. Sometimes a light would go on, and it would be <gasps> this flicker of magic. Holy crap, we made something happen. Can you believe it? And it was good times, good memories. And I bring, I bring that up because it, uh, it gives context to why it makes so much sense that I am having so much fun with my Arduino. Now, um, if you don't know what an Arduino is, it's similar in a way to a Raspberry Pi, but not quite. And if you don't know what a Raspberry Pi is, um, well, okay. Uh, <laughs> A Raspberry Pi is a tiny computer, very simple, put on a small circuit board, and its main purpose is for experimentation and messing around with. You can, you know, make little, well, it's essentially a little computer, so you write software, you can run, a lot of people run emulation stuff on there, like uh, old video games and stuff, uh, all kinds of stuff, but it's software based, you know, you're gonna code on it, you're gonna put something on a screen with it. That's what a Raspberry Pi is. However, if a Raspberry Pi is software, a Arduino is all about the hardware. You're not going to make a game with this. Not, I mean, I guess I'm sure you could figure something out, but not really. This is for making a physical thing happen in the physical world with uh, a computer. Like uh, setting us, it's, it's the in-between that is you know, you're sending instructions, and this is helping those instructions get to the thing. The propeller, or the light, or the robot arm. You know, a lot of people, when they build a robot, they need a little bit of hardware that's going to tell the robot when to move its arm, when to spin its wheels, and the Arduino is what can help do that. And uh, I got this for Christmas, and I have been having so much fun with it. Uh, partially because I'm a crap coder, you know? Um, <laughs> I'm just a terrible, not good, cannot code. I like, I get the basic concepts, I can, I can muddle my way through, but I don't have the natural, natural talent for it. I don't just have the natural understanding to the point where I can just start, ooh, I, I start seeing, you know, the matrix code in my head and I, and I can create software. That's just... It's, it's not my natural talent. My wife, Christine, our daughter, Colette, they both got that, and it's super cool. I wish I did. It's a wonderful gift, but I don't. And I don't know that I have a hardware gift either, but it is coming to me a lot easier uh, than the coding ever has. Um, I've been going through this book that came with my Arduino, 
uh, with a bunch of projects, and uh, I'm getting through it. It's really cool, and I'm starting to understand things here and there, and I feel like, you know, maybe if I just keep at it for a year or two or more, suddenly I'll have enough knowledge where I can say I kind of know what I'm talking about, and I'll have made, like, my own projects. Like, I'm already kind of getting pieces of ideas in my head for projects that I might want to do. I don't know. It's very exciting. It's very fun. And there is coding involved with Arduino, but it's mostly just giving instructions to the Arduino of what to do. It's not creating software. It's just saying, you know, do this, then do this, and in this situation, do that. And that I can figure out, or muddle through, or Google what I can't, you know, figure out on my own. That's the stuff I can do. It's the creating software where I'm like, whoa, this is beyond my skill. But this, this Arduino business, this, this might have, I might have just found my thing. Uh, I might have finally found my thing, and it's a lot of fun. And it makes sense that I, it, I can't believe it took me this long to learn about Arduino, because, you know, thinking back, of course, of course this is what I would want to play with. You know, I always took stuff apart. This was always the deal. Anyway. Nintendo's got that Switch thing today. They're gonna announce stuff, I think, right? Is that today? Or is it tomorrow? I hope it's today, I'm excited. And I, uh, I hope you all have a lovely day. And I'll talk to you all tomorrow. All right, bye-bye.